This is Vanderbilt's Hawkins Field. Inside these gates, baseball fans will see something very different this spring. Artificial turf. Coach Tim Corbin, after years of contemplating a change, abandoned the natural grass and installed a low-maintenance synthetic surface last summer. Compared to natural grass, uh, like how we did last year, it's a, this turf plays a little bit quicker. Uh, in terms of your slides, you got to start your slide a little bit earlier, but you have, you know, a better jump on your grounding with your feet. So when you steal second or third base, uh, your feet really don't get caught in the in the dirt like how last year. If it's a if it's a you know a wet or muddy day, you know the turf always stays the same and it's always it's always tight and compact. Uh, as you can see here. Um, you know, you can see a little bit of a little bit of sand comes up right here, and it's a little a little bit of you know the beads like on a astro turf on like the football field that we have that our football team plays on, but it plays nice. If you're looking for real dirt, your search starts and ends at the pitcher's mound. Even the batter's box is stitched in brown thread. Vanderbilt opens its 2013 season at home this Friday against Long Beach State. And in this conference, home field advantage is required. The surface is based in rubber and circular sand. Players believe their familiarity with the turf will give them a leg up as they swing for the fences this season. And for a program that has tasted success before, the Commodores hope a new field leads to an old destination, Omaha.